The Pulse brought the nation to its knees. In the fear and weakness that followed, the military began aggressively researching new types of weapons. Weapons that would forever change humanity. I was one of those weapons. Created in a lab, raised as a soldier. Fearless and lethal. I and others like me escaped our prison, and so I live in this post-Pulse world. <laughs> woman and a warrior, trying to understand who I am and how I can belong. It's been almost a decade since I escaped the military scientists and soldiers that created me. I've always wondered who I should say created me. Was it the scientists that combined every positive soldier trait? cat DNA and other odds and ends that would make me the perfect soldier? Or was it the scared young woman who gave birth to me? There are days when I would have to say it was the scientists. Days when I feel the soldier in me rise. That artificial destiny trying to make me into what I was designed to be. I'm one of the lucky ones to have found freedom. I have a choice. I still wonder about those that remain on the inside. Others like me. I suppose that in some way, I will always be related to them, since scientists and scared young women created all of us. like it. Well, they should have known better than to mess with the original Cindy. That is so the law. You better split boot. I can clean up here. Done. Watch your back. successful. What are your orders? Max, I just got an email from someone called Cillin. 
She says you have a twin sister? Sillin. Max, tell me. Who's Sillin? Sillin was one of us. Just another kid being trained to be the ultimate soldier. When the twelve of us escaped, she stayed behind to buy us time. I traced the email to a military group called the I Network, specifically from a genetic research lab called TriTech. I accessed a transportation request that had Sillin's barcode number on it. I'm going after her. South African military vessel moving into the Seattle Harbor. The South Africans everywhere celebrate the anniversary of their first democratic elections, a holiday they call Freedom Day. Our military is selling them a small piece of our freedom. The control station looks like a big video game. The ship is approaching the center. I think I'm due for a cruise. Scientist at Tritech wants to help all of us. She started telling me about all of the experiments that Manticore and the I Corporation have done over the years. Max, there is so much we don't know. We have to go, Sylvan. Wait, there is another scientist, Dr. Steven Vandermesh. He can help you find her. First, we have to get off the ship. 
The engines are starting. You take care of them, and I'll meet you on the upper deck. in your cocktail. I'm electric, baby. from my sister, Becca. Ah, uh, you must be Max. I've heard the rumors of you. Becca's gone. She was removed years ago, and we were told she was taken to I headquarters. Trouble is coming. Go. when you can use trust. operations by selling weapons and technological research that are intended to protect America and its freedoms. In addition to committing acts of treason, the I Corporation has begun commandeering public assets, including the Northwestern Railway. It's time for our elected officials to admit to the existence of I and take steps to stop them. Tell me about my sister. Oh, it's you. If you think I'm going to tell you anything. Did you ever sit in on any of our torture seminars? I was such a good student. Okay, oh, okay, okay. Mantico was working hard creating a super soldier, but a rival corporation called I had the military contract to conduct more aggressive genetic research. They created the Y series. And? After you and your sister were born, your sister was taken from Manticore and placed within the I organization as a way of testing the two different training methods. Tell me her name. Becca.
accept the military presence that surrounds us as a necessary precaution after the pulse. However, the government must be stopped from using this military threat as justification for its actions. Former secret military groups, such as the now infamous I Corporation, have continued to expand and consume. They now control research facilities, public utilities, an army of soldiers, an unending supply of funds, and what is probably the most dangerous experimental human arsenal the world has ever known. In the chaos that followed the Pulse, we lost our freedoms, our way of life, our civilization. It's time for us to reclaim what we've lost. The I Corporation, and others like it, have been revealed, and now, the people must demand an end to their activities. soldier, are you? No, sweet sis. I'm on the other end of the food chain. I-Corp is mine. We were raised to be the best soldiers, the best leaders. Guess they succeeded because now I control it all. Did you really think you brought Manticore to its knees all by yourself? Becca, why are you involved in this? Who better to control the evolution of genetically engineered soldiers than the leader of the first generation? That makes you just like them. You're not seeing the big picture, Max. Human evolution is finally sculpting itself. This is the future. We can either be a part of it or be swept away by it. Or fight it. No, not fight. Control. Come with me, Max. Together, we can shape the future of humanity. Fill the world with people like us. Never. Suit yourself. Have you met our sister? I saw to it she was created from the same original genetic makeup as us. She will succeed us. Never. I'm taking her with me. Do you actually think that your experiences out in the free world have made you superior, while I've remained within the system training? You know, we were originally separated so we could be a measure for different types of training. Let's see how we measure up. I was in such a rush to find my sister, to know her, to make that connection. Now if I could take it all back, I would rather live with the feeling that I'm not alone than to know the truth. 
But I now have to face that Becca was right. She may have failed her own test, but in the end she proved her point. Ultimately, it wasn't the woman in me that rose up, or the sister. It was the soldier. And now I have to move on, show my younger sister a life of freedom. I worry about the choices that she might make one day, who she will choose to become. My memory of Becca will always be a reminder that there is a soldier in me, lurking under the surface, waiting for the chance to rise. That's more like it. Well, they should have known better than to mess with the original Cindy.